Okay. Ready? Okay. Hi, Tracy. Um, how's it going today? Oh, it's going. You know, we're always busy, busy. I know. So, um, if you have a minute, I just wanted to kind of pick your brain, see how things are going um, with the referral process, and also show you these outcomes on some of the patients that we've had recently. Yeah, I have a couple minutes. Awesome. So I know Dr. Vega is really involved with his patients and, um, you know, I thought these would be useful for those two week follow up appointments so they can go over uh, really how the patient has progressed and how they're doing with home health. Oh and, yeah, he would love that. Yeah. So okay. I have these reports and they're, um, you, as you can see, you know, whenever we went out and we saw this patient, they were um, at this degree flexion with their knee and now you can see the steady improvement. Okay. So yeah, um, really that's, good. that's quite a bit of improvement there. Mm -hmm. We can see the walking distance is even better. And then going from, you know, mod assist to sit to stand and now they're supervision only. So those are big things to like improve their independence and get them ready to go to that outpatient clinic like Dr. Vega likes them. Yeah. So oh, um, I'd say this one. see these. Can I keep mm -hmm. that? Yes, absolutely. So okay. um, in fact, I can start bringing these um, on a weekly basis. He would adore that. No, he loves yeah. to see this kind of stuff. And that will help him too with like figuring out if they're ready for outpatient yeah. or not. Because I know every once in a while we keep one for an extra week or so. Um, you know, they're still having difficulty getting up and down, getting in and out of the car. So right. yeah, I think this would really show him why we're, we're keeping that patient for a little bit extra. Okay. Um, so I know, how, how's it going with the referral process? Are you still kind of, I know you share the love with our local agencies as you should. Yes, we still do. You know, I, I value all the agencies. So I'll, I just kind of send them out like, you know, this person gets this one, this person gets this one as they come, come up. Yeah. Um, Y'all are the only ones who take Signal Health Springs. So like any Signal Health Springs I see, I just shoot it right over to you. Right. But I've I, noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, it, Angels only takes Medicare, so I, you know, shoot the Medicare over mm -hmm. to them, and, and I try to split it evenly between everybody. Yeah, so, um, you know, we're happy to take those Cygnas. Everybody, you know, needs the same care. However, um, when we have too many Cygnas, it, we, we like to balance it out with those Medicares because Cigna, you know, a couple of reasons. As far as however many visits they, they really let us do, if we're not meeting goals, like, they and we still need a little bit extra time, they really tend to cut us off short. They only approve a few visits. Uh, whereas Medicare, as long as we're showing those P's, the progress, potential, and participation, we can continue to see them until they're better um, within a reasonable amount of time. So that's something that we'll, we have better outcomes when we have those Medicare patients, and that's really how we get scored. Um, I, we also know some of the payers aren't the best payers as far as reimbursement is concerned. And again, we like to take those, but we like to say that Medicare really keeps the lights on so that we can continue to care for those other payers, uh, those other patients that have different payers. Um, you know, if we can't keep the lights on, then we're not able to help anybody. So oh, yeah. that, that's why we really try to say, hey, can, can you give us a Medicare every once in a while <laughs> so to balance you, out those, those other di more difficult payers? Are you saying that Cigna's not? like paying you guys very well or so reimbursement just tends to be lower um there's a lot of times that you know on some of these patients the agency's actually losing money just to see them oh wow and again we're we're going to provide the same care for every patient but we can't con we wouldn't be able to continue to continue to do that unless we had those medicare patients coming in that are really reimbursing at where they should be okay um to really support our branch and to support our clinicians. I didn't realize that it really made much of a difference. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Okay, okay. Um, And again, with the number of visits, you know, I can't provide these outcomes. It would look like we just cut them off in the middle and they didn't get to their goal, but we're done. So yeah. um, okay. that, that's something that's huge because then when they go to outpatient, we want them to be able to maximize their time. Right. Um, and if, if they get cut off with home health and they go to outpatient, you know, that's where co-pays and things like that come in. So it's really, it benefits the patient as well to stay on home health as long as they can. Okay. Um, okay. So I just wanted to go over those things with you today and mm -hmm. um, just kind of see where, where you're at. I'd love to um, be able to take a referral and kind of show you, you know, since we have had these Cigna patients, I'd love to have a Medicare patient to be able to show you the difference in our outcomes of what we can really do with that patient. Okay. Yeah, we have, um, let me look at the surgery schedule. Schedule. We have some coming up that I think are going to need home health. Okay. And I'll look at the um, insurance information and let you know, and I'll just shoot them over your way. Wonderful. And you just let me know if you guys can take them or not. Um, 
but I will, I, I apologize. I didn't realize that it made a difference. So yeah. I will start looking for some of those medications for you. Guys. Awesome. I really appreciate it. And, um, I look forward to yeah. us continuing to work together because yes, I know I know we uh, we've got a good relationship. Oh, so. yes, we do. <laughs> um, yeah, but these outcomes are wonderful. So keep All right, bringing you them. can take those to Doctor Baker. Oh, thank you. Yes. So I will see you. I'll come back next Wednesday. I know he typically does surgery follow ups on Thursdays. Okay. Is that still the case? Thursday yes. morning. Yep. Okay. So I'll bring these by. I'll just start bringing them by every Wednesday. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. okay. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Paige.